The American people, Mr. President, are upset. I think they have a right to be upset. But they're upset for a reason. Our immigration policies regulating all aspects of entry to the United States have simply ceased to function in the national interest. Immigration policy and national interest are terms that are rarely heard in the context of immigration. We seem to have lost sight of the fact that it is a public policy, and like all public policies, our immigration policies should serve the public interest, but they don't when it comes to legal immigration. Let's talk about legal immigration. We now admit the equivalent of a major city each year without, without having the vaguest idea of how we will educate all the new children, care for the sick, provide housing, jobs, build infrastructure, attend to any of the human needs of the newcomers or those already here. Mr. President, each year we admit, I repeat, the equivalent of a major city. We admit more people each year than makes up some of our states. We admit a new state with legal immigrants every year. At a time of huge budget deficit and a severe financial constraint, we have no idea who or how these huge costs will be borne. We just do it. We admit the equivalent of a major city without any assessment of whether these newcomers are likely to be contributing members of our society. Only a tiny fraction of those admitted each year enter because they have skills and abilities that will benefit our country. The rest come merely because they happen to be relatives of recent immigrants. The result of this so-called policy is that there is now a backlog of almost three and a half million people population of a city the size of Los Angeles who have a claim to immigrate to the United States for no other reason than they're somebody's relative. Is this really a way to run immigration policy? Earlier this year Congress engaged in a bitter and protracted debate about the President's job stimulus program, something this senator supported. While there was a great deal of controversy about how best to put millions of unemployed Americans to work, no one on either side of the aisle disputed the need to create more jobs in this country. And you note, Mr. President, I didn't say put people back to work because some of the programs we were working on is to give people a job for the first time. Yet, not once during the course of that debate did I hear, and I listened to most of it, did we ever stop to consider that during 1992, our government granted more work authorizations to foreign workers than the net number of Jew new jobs created by our economy. And certainly, the job stimulus program wouldn't have kept up with the new immigrants. Can anyone fathom the logic behind this policy? I've thought about it a lot, and I can't determine the logic. Because a relative-based immigration system is inherently unfair, Congress has been forced to adopt even more absurd measures to deal with the demands of people who don't have relatives here. Can it be any wonder that the American people think our immigration policies are a joke when we select 40,000 new immigrants a year by lottery? Can anyone honestly tell me that it is sound and rational to make public policy based on the roll of a dice or the flip of a coin? Heads we admit you, tails you stay home. But the absurdity doesn't stop with legal immigration, Mr. President. It doesn't stop with legal immigration policy. When it comes to enforcing laws against illegal immigration, we have a system that will make you recoil in disbelief. We now have a permanent illegal alien population of four million people, we think. That's all it is more than two times larger than the state I represent, the state of Nevada. Four million people. And the illegal alien population is growing by more than a quarter of a million people a year, we think, with the best statistics we have. Yet we're doing almost nothing to encourage these people to go home or even to deter them from coming here in the first place. In many parts of the country, Mr. President, we actually make it easy to be an illegal alien. Listen to this. 